Thank you so much for staying on the AM show. Uh, it's 9.24 and we are just about to have a conversation with some old students of Kumasi Academy. Well, they call themselves Akunini Global. I'll let them explain what that means. But they've embarked on an ambitious project to build and present the biggest ultra-modern science laboratory in Ghana to their school. Now, the project started in January 2013 well, it's been completed and will be officially commissioned and handed over to uh, the administration of Kumasi Academy from the 8th to the 10th of July 2020. It's a whole celebration to just present this uh, uh, ultra modding laboratory. So in studio to talk more about this, I've got Okunini Ernest Yaoenim. He's chairman of the planning committee. Good yeah. morning, Ernest. Good morning. And Okunini. I have to take my time when I say that. Or else I'll, <laughs> I'll run on my words. Okunini Haribuache, who is a member of the planning committee. Yeah. Thank you too for joining us. Okay, before we, before we say anything, please, what does Okunini and Akunini mean? So let me start with you, Ernest. <laughs> okay, so uh, when we say uh, Okunini or uh, Akunini, so that's uh, in, uh, in English as academician. Okay, so we are academicians. So one single person is Okunini. So uh, an academician, yes. So basically, and, and this that's is a, about. This is a Santi This is a Santi tree. So in Ashanti, they call Akunini. Then uh, the single person is Okunini. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the first time I'm hearing that word. Mm -hmm. So I needed to understand, and I'm sure a lot of you are just like me. Yeah. So let's talk about this project. Very beautiful facility uh, that we are seeing just behind us in the shots mm -hmm. there. Tell us, since 2013, till yeah. that's, a, that's a very long time. Yeah. Uh, but the good news is that you've succeeded with your plan to build the biggest yeah. uh, ultra modern facility in any high school in Ghana. Yeah. Tell us how the dream started, Ernest. Okay, so uh, we pride ourselves in the fact that uh, we've been able to achieve this and uh, uh, we talk about it as the biggest, not in terms of the fiscal structure you see, but in terms of what we put in there. Uh, this project is uh, over 8 million Ghana cities, and uh, it's not small money. And we have in there, uh, we have smart board technology, we have robotics in there, we have various offices for teachers and everything. Uh, it's taken us nine years to get to this point. Uh, this whole thing came about because back in the days, in the 50s and the 60s, Kumasi Academy, you know, we all know it's a Baptist uh, school. And it was formed by Baptist uh, missionaries that came from, uh, from America at the time. So we had the biggest, we had the biggest laboratory in Kumasi at the time, oh, back okay. in the days, yes. Students from KNUST used to uh, come over for their practicals and all that. And uh, over the years, the population has grown and uh, we realized as past students that, okay, since we had the biggest project back then, we had the biggest science lab at the time. Now population has grown. At the time, student population was just about 100, 200, 300. But now currently we have a student population of about 3,000 and over. And we felt that, okay, we set the pace. We had the biggest at the time. So why don't we as past students come together? So under the leadership of our visionary president, our national president, uh, we came up with the idea in 2013. We had wanted to do a sick bay for the school. We started a project then, uh, at the time, the uh, member of parliament for the area, Honorable Muntaka Mubarak, uh, decided that the assembly would take it up. So the assembly took up the sick bay. So as past students, we decided, why don't we go back and take back our glory? So we decided to uh, going for this ultra modern biggest lab in Ghana now. So oh, yeah. you want to earn the bragging rights? Oh yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We know we know a lot of a lot of guys have questions about we tagging us as the biggest in Ghana. But what we want to say is that okay, tomorrow is on the eighth. Saturday is on the night. On the night we are commissioning this. Come to Kumasi. Come to Askore Mampo. Come and witness it for yourself and compare it to what you have in your school and you can now conclude and say whether it's the biggest or not. Exactly. Yes. You know, it's interesting in Ghana, schools like to fight over everything. Yes. Let me come to you, uh, uh, um, um, Harry. So, um, what, beyond the bragging rights, yeah. 
What do you hope to achieve with this laboratory? You know, um, just like you said, it's not just about the physical infrastructure. We are talking about what is in there. We are talking about modern science equipment. Not just the, any other thing. You know, the STEM project from the government, we are setting the pace for the government. This ultra-modern science laboratory is not going to serve only students in Kumasi Academy. Students around can come and do their practicals over there. And even the SHS, uh, the JHS students, can also come and have a feel of what it is to be, to do science. You know, most students shy away from science. But with this facility, with this practical knowledge, it will encourage and boost a lot of students to enter into science. So the government STEM project is in the right direction as peace it is. Mm. So we hope that with this, even our, our, our position in the national and the NMA scale, we anticipate that within the next two years, we will definitely take the trophy. So wow. we said Presec and all those age schools, beware. <laughs> <laughs> we are coming after them. We are coming. This, we'll is, get there. this is this is very laudable and considering the cost involved, how long it has taken you to achieve this, I mean we cannot trivialize the yeah. effort that has been put into this. When I was in high school, we had a laboratory, but there were challenges with equipment, there were challenges with solutions, mm -hmm. reagents, mm -hmm. things to use in our for our titration and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you did science, right? Eh? <laughs> no, I, I did that for integration. Yeah, yeah. So the big question, as a people, we have shown that we have a problem with maintenance. We have mm. a problem with mm. keeping things, you know, running. Yeah. So you've left this here. Yeah. You've built it. You hand it over to the school, but really, uh, whose responsibility is it to maintain? And whose responsibility is it to ensure that the items that will need replacing, the items that will need uh, maintenance, you know, are well catered? Okay, so uh, this is a very important question, and uh, it's something that, uh, you know, when you are first to start with something, you need to also be uh, a bit innovative with stuff. We have set up a maintenance office within the lab. We know in Ghana here, we have a problem with our maintenance culture. And as past students, we felt that uh, it's also our contribution to nation building and education as well. And as past students, we've taken it upon ourselves to maintain this facility. So even though we handed it over to the school, the maintenance of the place for the next few years is gonna be taken care of by the past students. We are gonna set up a seed fund, okay, that will take care of all maintenance and we have a maintenance officer that would, uh, we've installed CCTV technology in there, so you will get to monitor everything that is happening in there, and the maintenance officer who is also going to be appointed by the past student would ensure that the facility is kept in its current state, at least for the next five, 10, 15 years to come. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's a very, very interesting one. Yeah. Um, I'm happy you mentioned the NSMQ. Have you been following it? Do you know if your school is on course to? <laughs> Definitely. Mm. And, um, you know, the last time we placed, I think, we, 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 got, we got to the, the quarterfinals. Quarter yeah. yeah. But you, yeah. Know, you know, the interesting That's thing about our NSMQ is that it's not so practical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the only time we see maybe the question of the day is when they yeah. have to solve questions. Yeah. But yeah. we don't see real practical work. Yeah. So how, uh, what do you hope this will do okay. for, you know, general science education? And what do you hope to see in terms of more practical okay. learning in okay. Ghana? So what we want to do is that we want to bring in pr the practicality of, of science in Ghana. So in there, uh, there will be an exhibition on Saturday after the unveiling. And uh, our, science, uh, our science club have come up with so many things. They've invented... Uh, uh, hand sanitizing equipment and several other things that we want to display to Ghana. We want to bring out the practicality of the things that we've been talking about. This science lab has modern equipment that is really going to equip them practically. It's not something they are just going to learn the theory and not be able to practice it. So we have installed all the things that will help them with their practical. So once they go out there, the practical aspect of it will not be left out. 
Yeah. Mm. Just that, to add up, you know, I was like you said, the NM scale is purely theoretical, just calculation, yeah. chew and pour something, yeah. sort of thing. But yeah. science is purely practical thing. You see, you can't do science in just imagination. Yeah. You have to have a hands-on practical thing. So this will complement whatever they are doing at the National Science and Maths Quiz. Mm. That's the vision. Mm. And that's why we are, I said we are coming for the trophy. Because we are not just two <laughs> but oh, No, 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 no. We are coming with both. Well, I, well, I, well, I, I know that for the NSMQ, there is a science fair where there's sometimes a robotics display yeah, yeah. and all that and yeah. you do all that. So yeah, we would like to even throw the invitation to the organizers. They can come to the lab, maybe for, for schools within Kumase. They can use our lab for some of these exhibitions for the robotics and all that, yeah. You mentioned that this would, uh, you'd love that it would serve some, even some junior high schools and yeah. other schools in the, in the, in the region. So uh, would there be a certain process to go through? Would people have to yeah. apply? What can they do if they okay. want to use? So like we've said in the past, uh, even KNUSD people used to come there. So what we, the process is that if you want to have a use of the lab, you just write to the school's administration. We'll look at the schedule see if the place is available at a certain date that you want to come in then. So it's available to schools within the area, GHS, uh, even secondary schools within the area can come over there and have their practicals then. Uh, yeah. so, and so you say this existed when you were in school, so it wasn't built from scratch? So no, this, oh, then, then. this, this is a whole new one. Okay. So we have the old one there which we are going to give to a different department to use for now. So the old structure is still there is going to be given to probably the visual arts department to use. So this is an entirely new thing. We started from scratch. Mm, and, yeah. and, and talking about visual arts, I hope you would also build. We, we, we're looking at building us an art studio for them uh, in the very near future. I'm interested because yeah. I did yes. visual arts. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, we don't want to okay. leave any of the departments cause, out. Because yeah. sometimes we are treated <laughs> like uh, the last ones when it comes to everything development. But thank yeah. you so much. Uh, yeah. Uh, Okunini NST Awenim is chairman of the planning committee and uh, Okunini Harry Boachi is member of the planning, planning committee. committee. So your final words uh, as we wrap up this conversation. Okay, so our final words is from tomorrow the 8th of July, Saturday the 9th and uh, Sunday the 10th are the days that we've, uh, we've earmarked for the commissioning. So tomorrow is going to be homecoming day. We expect all past students to show up at the campus tomorrow. Then on Saturday, we've invited all the big people in Ghana that matter when it comes to education. The Honorable uh, Dr. Yawaduchum, he will be the special guest of honor. And uh, the chairman for the occasion is going to be our own Okunini Nanabwachi Yam Abibio, then Kwanza Kesehine. We've also invited notable Akunini, like uh, Honorable Damboche, uh, Sina Makmenu. They are all past students that are gracing the occasion. So. We want all past students to make it a point to be there. This is the biggest event for our school, and we expect that nobody is left out. Mm. Everybody should show up. Yes. All right. So to you all Akunini out there, this is an invitation being thrown to you. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. Thank you. Uh, once again, congratulations on achieving this after nine years. Yes. And uh, it's a good way to invest your money. Yes. I'm sure the young ones will be grateful yeah, uh, thank for you. all you've done for mm -hmm. them. Okay. Now, kiddies, the time to prove that you are the best and biggest kid chef in Ghana and beyond this year again. Join season two of the Big Chef reality show on Joy Prime and win amazing prizes. Let me tell you how. Record yourself cooking your best dish and send us the video on WhatsApp number 0551575757. Very simple, 0551575757. The deadline for submission is on the 10th of July, 2022. It's just a few days away. But we can't wait to see the amazing talent this season brings. It's the second edition of the Big Chef Reality Show. Joy Prime Big Chef Reality Show is sponsored by Fortune Rice. Always on point, just like Mummy. Fried all sunflower oil, enjoy the goodness in tasty meals. Top choco is chocolate tea, flora tissues, quality tissues for everyone. Big Chef, this July, only on Joy Prime. When we return, you'll have your say via phone and via social media. Do stay for that.